This time on Woody's garage, your Johnson got a little bigger. Thank God. And I put it on my uh, outboard stand and uh, it's kind of stiff in this position. <laughs> uh, you know, when I looked at it in the ad, I said, I have a 9.5, I have four horse. And right now on my boat, I got a four horse. That's fun to put around. I really prefer the 9.5, but quite honestly, the 9.5 guzzles gas. I don't know why, it's very inefficient. And I thought, hey, look around for a six or something. That might be kind of neat. So, I saw the cowl. There doesn't say Johnson on it, but you can see the seahorse emblem. Still clear on that side. And I knew it wasn't um, large enough looking to be a uh, nine and a half. So, it's some place between a four and a nine and a half, which is something I was looking for. Does it work? I don't know. The guy said it did work. Um, the propeller broke in half when the tree hit it or something. In other words, I don't have a propeller. Um, and then it ran great. But uh, I'm sure it did run great at one time, like when it was new. So we'll have to dig into it and see. I'm currently painting my house, which is taking first priority. So all this junk will have to wait. And here we are under the hood. Everything looks pretty clean, nothing too messed with. Everything's there. Does it pull over? I guess it does. Yeah, it looks like a small version of my nine and a half. I just gotta find a model number or something on it so at least I know what I got. Okay, I lubed up some key points so that I could fold it down to a more civilized position and I hit lube like here and 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 here so things will start loosening up on it but uh move over it's got good compression um throttle is stuck it was it wasn't um forward position looks like this has been uh, modified maybe not I don't know but it seems to shift but you could actually uh, put this on a boat and have controls it's got the controls to see if we can find a number on it in reverse so the lower unit definitely works too I see no ID on this thing anywhere no plate no nothing kind of wondering what this business is here looks like a little epoxy maybe it was broken there it looks like a standard prop that like I could take off my nine and a half to use I'm sure there's a cover or something that goes on that. I don't know. Probably just a prop covers that. And of course I'm just dying to hear it sputter to life. But uh, yeah, speaking of life, we got to get back to painting the uh, house. But on the year, I'm, I'm guessing probably about a 1965 to 70. No, not a 70, older than that. The throttle is really weird. Looks like that might have been for a tiller extension, but it's, like I said, right now it's frozen. Alright, today I want to work on the Johnson 6. It looks like it's a 6 horsepower 1968 from what I've been told. Um, I hate to break it, but a friend came over the other day and I was showing him the stuff that I got and we decided to like, hey, let's see if it runs. I put a little gas in the carburetor, it, pulled, it started on like the third pull. It sounded pretty good, so we hitched a gas tank up on it, and it ran for a while, as long as we wanted to, but not at an idle. But I kind of left it at that, so I figured today, I'd see if I can get it running a little smoother. I ordered a propeller and a propeller nut for it, and that's coming soon. But uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna run it again and um, see if we can smooth it out. like a charm. Here with a little brake cleaner. of things yeah you probably saw me hold this this is what's making the noise before we thought there was something under the flywheel making that noise uh, and there's absolutely no friction on the uh, mixture control I guess this is just for it's either high or low <laughs> it's one or the other and I'm gonna pull off this knob hope I don't break it and see if I can get a little, um, it sh there should be some, you know, resistance. Like when you put it here, it should stay there. It shouldn't be whippity whappity like this. And I also want to uh, empty the gear case out of the old oil and see what story that tells. Uh, the knob came off without fanfare. Now let's see where we are because it's running pretty good like it is. Oh, I thought I could stick a screwdriver in there. I guess not. So we'll, we'll count how many turns. That's a half. That's a one. It's a little over one. 
So we do, we get resistance there. Uh, we're gonna pull this out. Now the, there's supposed to be some packing in here, which is like string or some crap. And I've never fully understood it, but it's what creates the friction. This, this screws in and then the jet screws in. A little dirty. I'll shoot a little um, carb cleaner in there. Right now I'm thinking it works this good. Why bother pulling the carb apart? And I already drained the bowl, which is down here. So I know the packing kind of works like, um, like the tighter you get this, the more resistance you get with this. Look at that. Yeah, I cleaned that really good, huh? Let's go all the way into one. I mean, all the way in. And then we'll turn it out to one turn. Any day now, those are really fine threads. Okay. okay that's around one. Let's see what happens if we tighten this up a little bit. Well, that's actually more friction. I think that's all I need. We'll put the knob so this points down because there's a stop right here. Give you a little leeway to go back and forth. Maybe that's fine. I'm gonna do something to quiet this damn thing down too. Put a little rubber sleeve around it. That's great how someone put a cotter pin and bent it on the inside so it's like impossible to get it out. I bet the same guy didn't put in that cotter pin that put this in. Look at somebody made this choke lever out of a, I think a long bolt. Just made a slot in it and a hole. That can't be factory. I'm going to put uh, electrical tape around it to uh, give it a little cushion. That's a little better. Keeping it kind of wide open so it's easy to take out again if I want to put in a part. This definitely was a plastic part there. It's now gone. That should be quieter. Okay, this is pretty good. We can turn to here and then all the way to here so we'll use that that was like one turn right there um, this thing has a lot of grease points well enough like here well maybe not there uh, where did I see it here's one is that one that's pretty crude looking Yeah, this one there, this one there. So I'll take the grease gun and pump some grease in there. It's hard to tell if it's really a grease fitting. <laughs> it seems to be taking grease though. in frame for this one. Oh yeah, definitely comes in. Oh yeah, it moves nice. 
Put a little grease on these. Not a lot. You'll curse it yourself later on if you get grease all over yourself. Look at these. And we'll start it again after those adjustments. Yes. in the uh, gear case. I got this uh, robin's nest up here. I tried to put junk in the way. They built the nest anyway. They built it in like four hours. And if I come too close, they just dive right out at your head. So I'm trying to give them room anyway. Yeah, you wait till I get that outboard motor going. I'll be out there to take all you guys on. Your big boats. Okay, what we got for the gear case is this is the upper, can you see this one? Upper screw and the bottom screw. It seems really long. Usually there's one here and one here that I remember. And it's easy to drain, but it's hard to put it back in. The bottom one came loose easy enough. This one is really in there. Oh, great. <coughs> An appalling attack. <coughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever had to do this before. I'm a little nervous about doing it. I want to mangle it. I laid it down and I got it. Now screw that back in, just so you can see something. You undo this drain. Ooh, that is very nasty. That's not good. That means that uh, water's gotten in there. Now if you open up the top, it opens up a vent so it should flow better. Yeah, it's flowing a little more. These things usually drip forever. And there's supposed to be washers on these, which there isn't on the top, I'm going to let that drain, but a little nylon washer that goes here. And uh, I actually just bought a, a few because I needed one for my four horse. So that's probably the reason water got in there. So we'll let that beautiful mess, isn't that lovely? Look at it, it's all pussy and everything. Well, look what I found. I swear I looked all over. But here's the model and serial number right here. Ah, uh, I can't really see them. They had a little paint on them. Um, right there. 
Would you like a milkshake or perhaps some baby diarrhea? Well, it's been about 45 minutes. I'm still drooling out of there. I sprayed some carb cleaner in there. I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. See if this tube helps. It was a nylon washer in the bottom one, but not the top. And it's beat. There we go. Those are a little better than that one. Cupped out. I'll keep it anyway, though. Now I saw a discussion thread on uh, gear oil for these things and I think I mentioned that some people just say good just use anything but uh, what I always thought we were supposed to use is type C and yes you certainly can use type C this is the type they had when this engine was made however they wanted you to use this for I think electric start engines for some reason I don't really know why but this is what I've always used. But I bought this like a long time ago. And I thought this was wrong, but they said no, the high vis is what you can use. So I'm going to use the high vis. So I got this pump gizmo that pumps in from the bottom. And you pump till it comes out the top. And then you put in the top plug. So let's see how we do. There it is, drooling out the top. That seems like a whole lot to me. Okay, now you screw, put the screw in there, and you take the bottom out, and there should be enough suction to hold the, the uh, grease from coming out. Okay, that one's in. Let's watch the fun as I take this out. And like I said, it's supposed to hold. This thing's pivoting too, nice. Well, it doesn't really. I was drooling a bit. Mm. Nice. Okay. All right, we're back out on the six horse today. Um, got some parts in. I got the uh, propeller nut. I just got a piece of wire through it here. Because I was lining it up. Because there has to be a uh, carter pin put through here. So we'll take that off. I got that propeller. And I sanded and painted that up. And it didn't look that nice when I got it. I'll show you a picture of before and what I've been waiting on is a pen a drive pen which goes right there like today is very calm like glass so it will be a great day to uh, test out the motor I am really uh, Tired by the pollen. I don't know if it affects any of you guys that way, but at least I hope that's what it is. It's made me very weak and very tired. So the pin pin looks like this. It goes right through here. And That sits right here. To lock it in. 
and then the propeller nut goes on. And then you got to get it in the right place so that it'll line up with one of these holes so that you can put the cotter pin through. And uh, Home Depot carried stainless steel cotter pins. So, save me a little money there. But uh, I think that's lined up and yeah, good, no play or anything. That's perfect. And we gotta take the four horse off. That thing's been running great. And uh, all the herring are gone. The lily pads are starting to come up. Yeah, got it on. It's looking good. Uh, when I stuck it in the water, I didn't see a whole big pool of boil or anything like the uh, lower unit was leaking or anything like that. Uh, the pond looks... It's picking up a little texture, meaning the wind might be coming up. So it might be a good time to check it sooner than later. about to leave the dock and uh, it died. So uh, of course you take the cowl off and it runs just fine with the cowl off. But we'll just cruise around the pond a little bit and uh, see how it goes. trimming correctly. I think I'd have to move further up in the boat. I mean, it probably hasn't run in 15 years or so, at least. So I think it's doing pretty good considering that. Yeah, that's a win. Yeah, that's with the old points. Didn't even clean them. The old plugs. Didn't even clean them. 
and you can see the impeller it's kicking out water it looks good running cool 